Hello everyone, welcome back to the Dainty Seamstress. Today I have a short and sweet haul from Temu or Temu. It's only about five items, but let's get into it. These items were purchased, um, I want to say a week or so ago and they arrived today. So about a week and a half. Let's see what I have. So I'm going to show this first. There, these are for crafting. My sister wanted to do a little project with her lamp. So we purchased these feathers. So it's about maybe a yard and a quarter or so or more in each package. It's trim. And we're going to wrap it around her lamp. So I think that's going to be really cute. Maybe I'll post a few pictures of that or do a short so you guys can see. And I think these were like $2.39 each, I believe. So that is these feathers. And I did order, because I, like I said, I wanted to try to start um, selling some doll clothes at some point. So I bought these little... Um, uh, it's just some, <laughs> some plastic... Um, things that I'm going to be putting the clothing inside for shipping. It's 50 in one pack and it was I think a dollar and something. I only got one because I want to try it out and see how it is and then I'll be able to order more. The next thing I'm going to be showing you is fabric. So my mom and I wanted to see what the fabric quality was like ordering from Timu. This is a kind of a cherry blossom print. It has some metallic um, metallic detail in the branches and on the outer parts of the flowers. And then this one has dragons on it. So I'm gonna open this up so we can see it a little better. There's more than just two. I was wondering, I was like, is this folded up? So this is multiple prints, different prints of fabric. Okay, so let's look at it. This is the cherry blossom. It's just a little, let me measure it and see what it is. Let's get the measuring tape out. Okay, so this is a... So this is nine and seven eighths by nine and seven eighths by seven eighths by seven and seven eighths rectangle of fabric. I mean, this is enough if you're making some clothes for a Barbie or a Blythe doll. You can make some really cute things out of this. It's cotton, 100% cotton. It's, I want to say it's like a kind of almost like a medium weight it's not the um kind of thin like a poly cotton or sometimes there's really thin um a hundred percent cotton but this is a this is kind of thick so this would be great for like a little jacket or pants outerwear or even if you're going to use it to make like a little uh coin purse or anything this is nice so that's the first one and these all have some kind of metallic detail to them. This looks like wheat. This is interesting. It's pretty. This one's beautiful. I think I like this the most. <laughs> so far, this is my favorite. The waves and the tides. Really pretty. I really, really like this. And then here are some birds. I want to say they're cranes, but they're, they might be some other bird. It looks like some chrysanthemums. I think that's what those flowers are called with gold metallic details. Pretty. And then last is the dragon print. It's like dragon and maybe the smoke that's come that comes out of the dragon's nostrils and there's some lightning bolts. 
So you will be seeing some things being made out of this. This is a fabric that my mom picked. So I'm sure I'll be making something for her dolls. But I really like these fabrics. I think this is worth getting, you guys. I may, I'm going to try to link, put links down in the description just so you can look at it if you're interested in purchasing. But um, this is nice. I'm, I'm pleased by that. Okay, so the next item are going to be some of the things that I bought to put inside of my dollhouse. So the first thing is, it looks like the little mannequin that I purchased. Yes, it is. So this little dress form is plastic. I thought, I don't know why I thought it would be metal, but it is plastic and it's cute. And it comes with three pieces. So I'm assuming that this part goes in here and then it sticks in here. Or let's let me try let me try something else. Well it can't stick in there, okay? Let me try this again. <laughs> Ooh, maybe I need to stick it down. Okay, let me show you what I'm trying to do. Okay, it, it's going in. I'm just trying to stick it down in here where it'll stay. Uh oh. All right, it's in. Yay! Oh, it's kind of leaning to the side. Let's see. <sighs> okay, that's. Uh, okay, that's um kind of straight I'm going to turn this so it can face this way and kind of straighten this up a little bit okay that'll do so this is what it looks like on the back on the side this is pretty cute so this is going to go in the sewing room in my dollhouse that's cute. I think this was like a dollar and 70 something cents. The next item is a telephone. Kind of like a vintage rotary phone. And this is in white. I think it comes in black and in pink as well. But I chose white. It has a little cord here, a little spiral cord. The phone and this is what it looks like and you can set it on there like so and that's that really cute or this will either I think this was gonna go in the cafe the little bakery it's gonna go in the bakery and the last item is going to be this little cookie tin <laughs> you know like i think it's dansk the cookies that you get around christmas time but really they're year round you can get them year round they're really good butter cookies so this has some foam that it has some foam and it also has a sticky side. Hmm. Not sure what that's for. And then there's this. So I'm I'm assuming this goes on the top. And there's four of these. So what I'm gonna do. Stick these inside. And then I'm, I don't know if this goes I'm not sure if this this is a weird kind of sticker I don't know if this goes on the bottom or if it goes here on the top 
there's no instructions i'm not going to use the sticker i'm just going to pour my cookies into and i mean I, okay so this may be to stick the cookies on but i'm not going to do that i'm just going to here's the cookies let me show you I'm just going to take the cookies and I'm going to pour them here. And I know that's that may seem silly, but that's what I'm going to do. Okay, and then I'm going to take the little tissue paper and put it on the top. And I'm going to close them up. And these will go in my sewing room. Because after I finish eating the cookies, I'm going to put sewing supplies in it. Yes, that's what's going to happen with that. So, this is all for this video. Again, here is a little cookie tin. The vintage rotary phone. The little dress form. Here are the fabrics one more time. This is so, so pretty. The wheat and the cherry blossoms. And these little package baggies and these feathers. I hope that you enjoyed this mini Timu haul. You can comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I thank you for joining me for another video. Have a wonderful evening and God bless.